Hey guys, welcome back to Audio Access. I'm back with another interesting video. So from now onwards, we are going to start the real thing in Reaper music production. All right. In this video, I'm going to show the basics of uh, MIDI, which is extremely important when it comes to digital audio workstations. Okay. If you are planning on creating music on your own, this is the method. All right. Now, I'm sure that a uh, lot of you are not familiar with uh, MIDI. Um, when I was learning these things, I didn't kind of get a uh, clear state of idea about these things. I had to research and uh, find solutions for my problems. Okay. Now, there are a lot of accessibility concerns. Um, some pro programs, some plugins will not work with uh, NVIDIA Edge or JAWS. Uh, we have to fix those things. We have to find alternative solutions for all of the issues which we have to face. Okay. Now, uh, talking about the MIDI, I'm going to show how to kind of uh, set up MIDI, what is MIDI and all those stuffs. Okay. Now, talking about what is MIDI, MIDI is a way to communicate with the computer in a musical manner. All right. Now, for instance, you have seen um, keyboard, digital keyboard, digital pianos, which uh, gives sounds by getting the input from that keys. Okay, I hope you can understand. And that thing, that um, main uh, concept applies to the music, to the computer. Okay, now we are going to transmit the signal through MIDI to the computer. We, we are going to say, hey, I have pressed this button for this long uh, in this pressure. Please give me the according sound, okay, the related sound by the plugin. Now, now the computer will request from the plugin the virtual instrument and it will produce the sound, okay. Now, there are a lot of instru instruments available, extremely great instruments. Now, in the 21st century, uh, the technology has evolved and we are getting lots of great sampled instruments and live instruments, all those things. And also, if you are confused with what I'm going to say, what I am saying right now, please go to YouTube or Google and get help from them. Okay, because there are tons and tons of tutorials and uh, resources available to learn and uh, go in deep about these topics. So you don't have to worry about that, right? And the other important thing before we jump into the video, uh, we have a comprehensive tutorial on Reaper with music composition, music composition with Reaper, sorry. Uh, in the Reaper accessibility wiki, there is a link called useful links and resources. Under the heading called Cavi Courses or something, uh, they have offered us the full course, a paid course for free, completely free, which is an excellent material, which I, I kind of uh, grateful for them. Uh, I leave a link in the description box below. You have to download the Reaper music composition with Reaper course, which is a one gig file, extremely complicated top topics, but they are starting from the beginning. Okay. So I, I used a lot those materials and uh, I have leveled up my skills. I have grown the all of my skills using those materials. Um, again, I'm really grateful for them for providing the resources, the materials for completely free of charge. Okay. And now let's look at uh, what's going on in the MIDI side, in my perspective, I'm going to teach uh, what I have learned throughout the experiences of mine. Okay, uh, let's get started. So let me show what I have in my setup, right? Now I'm having a keyboard, a digital keyboard, which is a very, very cheap keyboard, just a 61 keys. And fortunately, it can uh, have the MIDI uh, feature. It has the MIDI feature actually. Uh, simply what I have done is I have taken a cable uh, which converts the MIDI cables, MIDI signal to USB. Okay, the cable is uh, MIDI to USB converter. All right. Uh, this is a standard keyboard. As I said, we can hear sounds from this. Um, here we've got a MIDI port okay there are two MIDI ports here uh, we call it as dim connection DIM connection and we connect 
two wires to this uh, dim connection midi in midi out and thereafter we get the other wire to connect to the computer all right it's very simple from there onwards um, when i press keys on this keyboard the normal keys um, the input will be sent to the computer and computer will uh, process the sounds all right that's the mechanism on this midi thing okay we can do whole lot of thing using the simply simply using uh, this controller all right so let's get into the ins and outs of the process all right so what i do is i connect this uh, to midi connections to the back of the keyboard um, and the other end is going to the computer as a usb connection all right most of the keyboards has this option midi and from there onwards we can go to the reaper and see what's going on all right now as i said this keyboard can output sounds as well so simply this is a home normal keyboard but we can um, utilize to use with reaper so let's go to reaper and i will show how to enable the device and use as a basic uh, thing and from next video onwards we will be learning advanced stuffs from uh, using this uh, midi controller all right let's go all right now i'm with my reaper i have opened no tracks no tracks so first off what you have to do is we have to plug the midi cables uh, in a correct way there are midi in out which you have to plug into your keyboard and the other end is to usb all right in my case i have plugged all the required things and in reaper you have to enable the device okay now most of the times when you plug the device the drivers will be automatically installed all right but if uh, you have any problems then you have to install the appropriate drivers from the website of your keyboard all right now in my case uh, it has already been installed now what i'm going to do is press ctrl p to get to the preferences window reaper preferences dialog midi inputs to make available selectable as track inputs now you have to come to the midi device category dial and okay five edit preview device one of nine level one midi devices two of nine level one midi devices and you have to press tab until you get a list window list box edit black find okay and property page midi add joystick midi button list one list list one list if you press down arrow usb midi interface mode disabled id zero one to one all right you can see my midi interface usb midi interface mode disabled something uh, you have to enable the, the this device this is the input devices uh, you have to press application key context menu and go to the configure input id sub menu i forget device unavailable left enable input e enable input reaper preferences dialog property page and menu context menu again context menu Conf input i forget to enable in enable input for control messages e uh i'm not sure what this does but uh, let's enable configure input enable input for reaper this as well and if you press tab add joystick midi button list one list uh, um, this is the output devices. Tools of MIDI mapper mode not present greater than ID 213. Not this. Microsoft GS Wavitable Synth used cautiously. Mode disabled. ID 023. Not this. USB MIDI interface mode disabled. ID 1303. Yep. Context menu. You have to enable this. Config output ID for get device on the enable output E. As well. Send plot enable up reaper preferences dial. And you will be good to go. MIDI hardware also. Tab. Distress tree slate stop tree edit. Black find but OK button. OK button. Press reaper V6.0. Your MIDI device is being enabled. To work with MIDI devices, to get all the things out of these MIDI devices, what you have to do is you have to add a virtual instrument. All right. Now, there are a lot of tutorials on explaining how to, how the virtual instrument works and um, all those stuffs. If you would like to learn more, uh, I will try my best to leave some uh, useful resources for you to learn about MIDI devices and virtual instruments. Okay. So in this instance, what you have to do is. Uh, come to the insert menu by pressing alt i media file insert m and you have to get to the insert virtual instrument empty space new media i empty i set with new sub project mark mark measure measure from track emote virtual track from virtual instrument on new track ctrl insert yep, virtual instrument on new track okay uh, 
you have to you you you, you can um, press enter on this as well but there is another shortcut as well you can press control insert twice to get the insert new uh, virtual instrument on new track window uh, in a keystroke okay uh, the reason why we are pressing double insert is uh, by default nvda uses the insert key as the modifier key nvda and jaws okay so we have to pass the key to the reaper uh, before NVDA catches it, right? So let's press Control Insert twice. Scanning direct XFX insert virtual instrument on new track. Dialog filter combo box collapsed. Edit lang. All right. From this uh, onwards, the uh, thing works as a effects chain, right? Uh, this is also a part of an effect chain. Okay. So uh, I hope you have know about uh, the effects window and all the things. I have done a video on that as well. So from here, Reaper don't have any. Reaper doesn't have a complex instrument, just a synth, okay? Simple synth and a sampler, okay? Now, in this case, let's find the rear synth. List one list, VST, race emblematic 5000, Cocos, one of three. No. VST, race in DR, Cocos, four out, two of three. No. VST, race in, Cocos, three of three. Yep, this is the exact uh, thing which I'm looking for. Now, in the categories list, Preview, instrument seven of nine, level one. we have selected instrument as the category, all right? So, list one list, VST, race in. if you have more than these things, like if you have third party VSTs, which I'm going to show how to do, how to add in a minute, uh, it will show here and you can combo box collapsed, edit, filter land. those things from this uh, combo box, the editable box, all right? Now, let's add the rear synth list one list, VST, race in. by pressing enter. FX, track one, raise it, dialog, DB tuning, send MSDK. All right, MSDK. now the, from this onwards, as I said, this is an FX chain. Uh, it works as an FX chain. You can uh, add more than one virtual instrument and FX, all those fun stuffs, which you can learn more about uh, uh, Reaper. This is uh, not related to accessibility. This is a standard control, standard uh, way of uh, working with Reaper. All right, now if you press your keyboard, you will hear sounds, okay? Now before that, uh, make sure to volume down, turn down your volume of your digital keyboard if you are using a digital keyboard. But if you are using a dedicated MIDI controller, you don't have to worry about that, okay? Now, I'm going to turn on, turn off my volume on my keyboard and let's press a key. Yeah. So, I hope you have understood the concept. Now, I'm pressing keys on my keyboard, um, which I can hear the sounds from Reaper. All right, this is a very fun thing. We can do a lot of things from this um, way because uh, technology has evolved a lot. So, we, ha we don't have to have a complex studio to produce uh, tracks. Now, if you are a hobby musician, musician like me, now, I use these methods to produce a lot of th tracks, I uh, have a lot of ideas, there are a lot of instruments as well, we'll be looking at all those things in upcoming videos, alright? Now there are controls as well. Edit mode button, zip button, barum, two out, UI button, enable, checkbox, check, edit, volume, slider, minus 6.00. Volume. Edit, section, slider, zero. Uh, let's edit, attack, slider, 3.0. Edit, the case, slider, edit, sustain, slider, zero, point, edit, select, release, slider, eight. edit, wave, shape, proofing, attack, square, slider, 0 0.00. Now if we, this uh, square, let's max it to 100. Uh, edit, select at 0 0.00. Let's type 100. Select, close with, edit, select. Slider 100. We can play with the, this as well. This this is the power of the virtual instrument. 0 0.001.00. Edit. Wave shape grouping attack. Square slider 1.00. 0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
So this is how Edit. Select the zero point selection the thing works. Triangle slider zero point oh oh. Let's play with the triangle. Zero point oh zero point two six zero point zero zero point. Right. So Edit. selected 1.0 selection removed. This is the real basics of using virtual instruments. Triangle. We can do complex things. Uh, we can produce complex tracks uh, without recording real instruments as well because now there are a lot of um, virtual instruments which um, kind of can emulate real instruments, guitar, piano, violin, strings, all those things. So now if we press escape and get back to the tracks, we can see that we have one, ray synth arm, zero items. one track which is ray synth and it's armed and also you have to turn on the monitoring level monitoring normal Not when playing. Record monitor off. normal you have to cycle through monitoring levels by pressing f8 and you have to uh, toggle the monitoring to normal so you can hear what you are playing from this The other thing that I'm going to show is virtual keyboard, all right? Now, the concept of the virtual keyboard is, say you don't have a keyboard, okay? Now, when I was starting to learn Reaper and to learn music composition, uh, I didn't have a real keyboard like this. So, I use the virtual keyboard to experiment with uh, the basics, right? Now. You can use the virtual keyboard as a physical keyboard with some little, uh, little bit limitations. Uh, the keyboard which you are using to type, the computer keyboard will be used as an input device, right? So to get to the virtual keyboard, obviously you have to have the insert instrument, virtual instrument inserted in a new track as we done in uh, the previous um, method uh, to hear sounds and you can press alt b b4 bravo to get to the virtual uh, keyboard virtual midi keyboard dialog sdgh 2356 okay virtual midi keyboard dialog and it reads some other things as well so from now onwards um, we can use the keys on our keyboard to play okay as you can hear now since the keyboards the keys are limited on this keyboard you, ha you can transpose it and you can get to the next uh, available keys and previous available keys okay you can use the uh, use left and right arrow respectively now let's go upwards by pressing right arrow once and the key registers will be completely changed let's do again right arrow again Right, the limitation which I was talking is one, the limitation of keys. All right, we have only about 26 keys uh, per octave. All right, and the other thing is velocity sensitivity. All right, in the real keyboard, in the physical keyboard, I can play the keys as hard as I want or as soft as I want. Different ways of playing. But in the uh, virtual keyboard, only the maximum velocity, but maximum sound, maximum pressure. But in the physical keyboard, I can use All right, that's the only limitation when it comes to using this virtual keyboard. Uh, especially, this will be noticed by yourself if you are trying to play a piano, uh, a virtual instrument piano. Piano I'm is not a um, highly velocity uh, accurate thing, like a human cannot play the piano extremely high, okay? There, there are some variants uh, in velocity, okay? 
but when it comes to drums this is not a big deal you can edit the velocity later using the midi editor which i will show in upcoming videos okay midi is a completely different topic completely advanced topic so i highly recommend you to follow up with all those resources which i have left in the description box below all right so that's how you can use the virtual keyboard but i do not recommend to use virtual keyboard because you can't get the realistic sounds uh, um, you, ha you have to use the physical keyboard a real midi controller to get the realistic sounds as much as you can right and also the process will, would be more easier and more fun more enjoyable uh, if you can use a physical keyboard rather than using a virtual keyboard but uh, for the time being if you don't have a real keyboard and if you would like to try and experiment with the um, features uh, you can use this uh, virtual keyboard as well right that's not that's not, that's not a big deal mm, it depends on your uh, willing power actually all right so that's how the virtual keyboard works um, but i highly recommend you to get, get a new keyboard get a nice keyboard to enjoy yourself while learning Reaper. all right let's close this you can close the virtual keyboard by pressing escape key save project reaper v6.07 slash x64 now i'm going to show quickly how to add a virtual instrument add a third party virtual instrument in this case all right now oh. let me go to the downloads this key. I, down, 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 down. I, I have a drum kit selected empty power drum kit which i have downloaded from the internet um the link is in the description box below it's a free uh, piece of kit which is a great thing uh it's a, a raw files um, archive okay now what you have to do is first you have to extract the raw file or just let okay let's just open the raw file MTPDK 2.0.9 VST 64 bit winfold zip winrar list type local MTPDK 2.0. That's a folder. Let's go in. Type local disk one. And list. there are a uh, lot of files. Manual. Manual MIDI mapping and drum map. MIDI type. mapping all those things. Let's installation MT power drum. You have to copy these two files. MT power. And MT power drum kit dot DLL size. MT power drum kit content dot key. MT power drum kit dot DLL and MT power content. You have to MT MT power select those two files. Those those two files are the required files to work. Okay. Let's press Ctrl C, and uh, I'm gonna open a folder in the desktop. First display settings D settings. Oh, sorry. Our folder view list. Folder view. Context menu. First display settings D. New sub menu. Folder view list. Let's say virtual. We are selected. Virtual instruments. Instruments. Instrument. Instrument. Instruments. Virtual instruments selected. Ah. Virtual. Virtual instruments nine of nine. Ah, wrong. Okay, that doesn't matter. Let's go to in that Virtual folder and paste the contents. Items view list. MT power drum All right. Kit. Now, MT PDK two. And unsaved project. Re Let's come to Reaper. One race in and go to the preferences by pre pressing Control P. Reaper preferences dialog. And go to the VST category. Video slash VST two of five level one. And edit. Plan. Press tab until you get. Find out can property page of multiple VST plugin paths. Can be multiple paths separated by semicolons. Edit blank. If you want, you can type the exact path as well. But in this case, I'm gonna auto detect button. Um, edit button. Add the path manually. Context menu. Context menu. You have to press the edit button. Context menu and add. A. Add. Browse for folder type. And navigate to the folder where I have selected the. Select the uh, sorry, created the uh, VST folder and uh, copied the thing. Make select the In my case, it's level zero desktop labs. Desktop. Expanded. Level one virtual instrument six of six. All right. Edit selected virtual blank instrument. I N S T R U M N. Virtual instrument six of six right. level make okay button. I have uh, Re Reaper preferences. Rename the rescan button. The default and mode. You can press the not clear cache slash rescan re button. Rescan button so it will scan the newly added plugins. Rest. Okay. Dialogue. Reaper All right. It's it has been scanned. Button to not be done. I will allow comparable name preview edit. Blank. Fine. And leave those as okay default button. and press okay. Run save project. Reaper v six point oh seven. Right. Now we have the track the rear synth. Let's delete the track. One race in one track removed. And let's add another virtual instrument by pressing Control plus double insert. Insert virtual instrument on new track. Done. And hopefully we will list one list VST MT power drum kit. Yep. The audio sixteen out one to four. All right. This is the newly added virtual instrument. Okay. Let's press enter. Build routing confirmation dialog. Do you want to add the following? Now for this dialog, you have to press no. Okay. 
There are no ways to disable this dialog, unfortunately. No button hold N. It asks to add 16 tracks more to manage outputs, so these are a little bit advanced topics. So, for now, let's press no. Rest, FX, track one, MT power drum kit dialog, right. list one, list, VST, MT power drum kit. Now, before hearing sounds, you have to skip the donation thing. It says that, uh, please donate, okay? Uh, if you want, you can donate and get the registr key, registration key so you won't get the uh, dialog box again, right? Now, in this case, uh, you have to use OCR of NVDA or JAWS, okay? In my case, I'm using NVDA. Uh, you have to press insert plus R, insert plus Recognizing result document. R, Matter. and it will recognize the contents and let's go to matter, matter, ma matter. Ah, no, no. VST, Before pressing insert plus R, you have, you have to press F6 to get uh, the focus to the um, empty power drum key. Now we are at the FX uh, chain window, so it can't recognize anything. So you have to press F6. Window. Now it says window. Now you have to press insert plus R. Recognizing result document. Now if you press down arrow until you get power drum. the skip button. Yes, it is free, but Developing this solution required a lot of work and dedication. If you find the solution useful, please consider making a small donation. To support us and to show your appreciation, every little bit helps. Please visit https slash slash www.powerdrumkit.com slash donate. As a donor, you receive a special registration key which allows you to permanently bypass this start screen. If you have made a donation, please enter your key on the left side. Computer D. Registration key. Once the key is entered, this start screen will no longer be displayed and every time you open the solution, it will start immediately with instant sound without having to click skip. Egypt. Skip. Now, uh, this button, skip, you have to press this and hopefully you can hear the sound. So, this is the power of uh, Reaper. Everything is accessible. All right, I hope this has helped you out to get started on working with Reaper as a music, uh, music composer. If you have any questions, comments, please let me know in the comment section so I will try my best to help you out and also. Uh, please remember to check the description. There are lots of resources I have left. Um, all right, let's press escape to get out of the fix window. Window, unsafe, project, reaper V. Now, one empty power drum kit, arm zero item. As usual, we have the empty power drum kit armed. Okay, all right. Now, this place where the bass beats comes okay i hope you know about music theory because these are related to music theory not free all right now we have to turn on the temp uh, metronome metronome off metronome on by pressing ctrl shift m um how about doing a simple recording r1 beat one zero percent you have to press r to start recording i hope you know about that because i have uh, talked walk you through walked you through these things in the previous videos all right uh Let's create a small simple track. Mm. All right, let's record this. Simple track, okay? If you press space bar, now I have left one bar, okay? Now, as you may notice, it's not in the beat, okay? Uh, one empty power drum kit, armed one item. Armed one item. The item is a MIDI item, not an audio item, all right? One zero one empty power drum kit recorded MIDI. Now, you have you can move through items by pressing Ctrl left plus right, uh, respectively. Now, I have selected the first item. Now, let's quantize this. I will teach you these things in upcoming videos, all right? Crit 16. Right, it's not it's not a big deal. Uh, it's kind of off topic, but um, let's 
create Insert search. another recent track. List one list. VS, VST, VST, race and DR. Build routing confirmation. Ah, no, no. no press FX track two A. Two race and DR one track. Insert virtual instrument on the yes. track. List one list. VST race and cop right. FX track. Uns. Two race and arm zero items. Now one empty power drum kit arm one. You item. have to unarm that empty power drum kit. Unarm. By pressing F7 and two race and arm zero items. You have to race in. Uh, let's change this wave a little bit. FX parameters dialog. Uh, I, I'm gonna use FX parameters window uh, in the Osara. Uh, you can get to the parameters dialog by pressing P. P for parameters. Release, attack, release, where, saw, four, uh, try saw. So let's increase value. the saw by 0 .0, 0 .0, 0 0.0, 0.0, 0.20, 0.50. All right. Okay, now. R1 beat one zero percent. Let's uh, record a simple melody. Yeah, I'm. I know that this is a little bit off topic, but uh, sorry, off uh, beat actually. But uh, this is the power of Reaper. You have to learn these things. When it comes to MIDI, it's a completely different topic. Okay. So if you are interested to learn MIDI and all those stuffs, leave a comment and I will try my best to create more tutorials as soon as possible because it takes a little bit time, right? So depending on your response, I will uh, make the process as fast as possible, right? So this is how the thing works. Now you can use the render dialog as usual to uh, get the audio and you can play with the audio, right? So I will teach you the quantize methods and editing media as well in the upcoming videos. So uh, stay tuned for those things as well. So make sure to check the description box below to learn more about all those things. Uh, I have left some resources to learn um, the things, okay? You have to have the music theory knowledge a little bit when it comes to working with MIDI. It's a mandatory part actually. It's an extremely high requirement when it comes to MIDI. You have to have the music theory uh, to work efficiently, right? So thank you very much for watching. I hope uh, you have enjoyed the video and if you have any questions, comments, thoughts, ideas, please let me know in the comment section and also uh, any feedbacks would be appreciated. So thank you very much. Signing out. Mamra Shah.